But there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver's here, guys. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, today is August 18th, and a month from now, September 18th, is going to be a big day. And I want to let all you black magas out here, all you MAGA folks, all you Trump supporters, I want to brace yourself, okay? Trump is going to be sentenced on that day. What? Now, they have rumors of him. Judge Michonne is not letting up. He's going to sentence Mr. Trump to maybe up to a year in Rikers Island. And I don't want y'all to be discouraged, all right? It's going to happen. You have to deal with crooked judges that are after you and crooked prosecutors. And these New York, the New York court system is vicious and totally biased and frankly, totally crooked. Why would you put yourself through? I said, because we're going to make America great again. That's what we're going to do. All right. Well, former President Trump once again slamming the judge in his New York criminal case, calling him crooked. As you just heard there, his legal team, meanwhile, just asked uh, Judge Juan Mershon to delay sentencing until after the presidential election. So our next guest says judges have wide discretion over these matters and asks if it was done in the Hunter Biden gun case. Why should it not be done for the former president? Let's bring in Fox News legal editor Kerry Urban. So, Kerry, we have this from the filing from Trump's team. They write, setting aside naked election interference objectives, there is no valid countervailing reason for the court to keep the current sentencing date on the calendar. There is no basis for continuing to rush. Andy McCarthy, our great colleague, uh, wrote this the other day, caught my eye. He said, prepare for Trump to be sentenced to prison on September 18. He says New York prosecution of Trump was politics, not justice. We have heard him say that before. That's why we call it lawfare. The prosecutors and judge are not concerned about whether convictions ultimately get thrown out on appeal. Haven't heard a lot of people say that, you know, prepare for him to be sentenced and sent to prison on September 18th. Yeah, I, I I think I understand where Andy's coming from on this, just because, again, you know, Andy and I sat together in that courtroom watching this trial play out day after day, and it was just stunning. Everything they stuck at him didn't work. They even shot at the guy. It didn't work. So the last thing they got to do now is put him in jail. Why is that betting website, and why are Vegas odds bettors really now picking Kamala Harris? Like, you got to ask yourself, a question, could it have anything to do with this, which is that multiple high-level sources have stated that New York City Department of Corrections is making arrangements for Donald J. Trump's arrival at Rikers Island in September, according to Tony Saruja. Now, he's not the only one. Of course, Rikers Island uh, has, uh, you know, is, is uh, well... New York City officials have confirmed this as well, but this is Rikers Island here. So take a look. This is where Trump would go, according to these sources. So, guys, I'm telling you, man, don't get discouraged. Still keep their foot on their neck. I see a lot of black men, a lot of black content creators, people on TikTok have support for Trump. All right. Do not let them discourage you with this. All right. They're going to put him in jail. They are going to put him in jail, okay? Do not get discouraged. Do not let them win. It's going to be bigger and a bigger statement, okay? I can see it already. We're going to have people out here with T-shirts. Free my nigga Trump. Let's jump to this next story. I got this from the Washington Post. Trump seeks delay in New York hush money case sentencing until after the election. Trump's lawyers asked a judge to delay sentencing for his criminal conviction for falsifying business records scheduled for September 18th until after the election. I don't I don't think they'll delay it. 
And we've got this tweet now. This was just brought up by uh, Hannah Claire and, and uh, Danny here. Yeah, the, that's the Tony, Tony Saruga says multiple high level sources have stated the New York City Department of Correction is making arrangements for Donald J. Trump's arrival at Rikers Island in September. He tweeted this. This is uh, uh, just yesterday. President Trump will 100 percent be sentenced to prison on September 18th. I'm told the sentence will be one year, but we'll see. The Marxist judge could change the sentencing at this at the last minute, but he's definitely sentencing President Trump to at least one year. Rikers Island already has special accommodations ready. This is two months before the election. This has got 3.1 million views. I don't know what his source is. This guy is just uh, he's a contractor. He's a philanthropist. CIA whistleblower. Is, 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 that what, is that what he says? CIA, NSA contractor, whistleblower, Intel ops. Yeah. I'm assuming he's probably got some sources, but it is all rumors right now. Yeah. However, Hannah Claire made a good point. Kamala is not committing to any dates past uh, uh, September 10th for a debate because she maybe knows something Trump doesn't. Mm-hmm. There you go. And I then- mean, that's a massive wrench in this whole thing. If he's literally like. He's, I don't. I, I mean, I don't think my brain can actually process the idea that. I think it'd be really hard to wrap your mind around that in one summer he uh, somebody shot him while on stage at a rally, and then they sent him to prison. Like, sure, that's really crazy optics. But also, when Trump has these kind of like momentous legal moments, I think back to the Atlanta mug, mugshot release, support for Trump surges, and so I, I think. It would be more about ego if there was, you know, a judge or someone who was like, no, we have to send Trump to prison. Like they are no longer playing the long game at, at, at that point uh, because you can still run for president from prison, or at least for federal office. Uh, so if he say he goes to prison, he gets elected, he wins on November 5th. Like, do they bring cameras into the I have prison? To say, I don't know. <laughs> Is he just sleeping? The state's going to argue. He's watching on his little like. They're going to they're say it doesn't matter if he's president. He's still in in prison in at the state level. So I'm just letting you guys know it's going to happen. Do not get discouraged. Do not say, man, fuck the politics system. I'm not going to vote. None of that. All right. Still vote for Trump. Make a statement. They, they cannot take this away from you. Now we all see that the um the shooter. Mr. Crooks here. We all know that the CIA, the FBI, they all are colluded. They all ended together. The body of Mr. Crooks was cremated the other day without no investigation. The family did not order for him to be cremated. He was cremated just like that. The crime scene, the crime scene over there in Pennsylvania was scrubbed clean. No investigation. So we all can see it. I'm going to say it. All right. The government. The FBI, the CIA, the head of Secret Service, everybody was in on it. They was trying to get Trump out of there. All right. They're trying to put Kamala in. Now, Kamala comes out with her economic plan. And I will work to pass the first ever federal ban on price gauging on food. (laughs) My plan will include new penalties for opportunistic companies that exploit crises and break the rules, and we will support smaller food businesses that are trying to play by the rules and get ahead. My administration will provide first-time home buyers with $25,000 to help with the down payment on a new home. All right, she want to control prices. She wants to give $25,000 to for your first homeowners. All they're going to do is drive up the prices. They're trying to send us to a third world country. Man, think about it. Kamala, if she wins, if they put her in, um, she's going to be the first woman president. We have down in that southern border, we have a female president down there. Miss, um, what's her face? A Mexican little hat person. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. She won. And you know, the, the cartel is controlling her. You think that little thing is going to stop crime? You think they're going to stop the immigration process, the fentanyl? You think she's going to stop it? No, she's part of it too. So if they have her as a president of Mexico, they have Kamala here. And then you have Justin Trudeau. He's a damn near bitch. So it's over. It's over. So do not let them 
discourage you when they put Trump in jail in Rikers Island. Do not let them discourage you. It's going to happen. I'm just letting you know. Prep yourself. Get ready for it. All right. September 18th. Mark it on your calendar. The crooked judge is going to sentence Mr. Trump. They could. The judge could decide to say, hey, house arrest or even jail. It could. not face it could. what that could be. I'm okay with it. I saw one of my lawyers the other day on television saying, oh, no, you don't want to do that to the president. I said, don't, you don't beg for anything. You just, the way it is. Just to make a point. It's nothing about no crime. He's a first-time offender on a victimless crime. And they're just trying to make a point. They can't get rid of him, so now they might as well put him in jail. They almost got him with a bullet, and that didn't work. So they're going to put him in jail and probably have a knucklehead over there to shank him or something. I don't know. God forbid. So that's my thought for today, man. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you haters, get your ass off my lawn.